Would it surprise you to know that pot pie has been around since Greek and Roman time? It was the Greek that put the meat on the pie crust and then later when the Romans took it over they put the top and they used flour and oil. Of course when the Brits took it over they started with beef and stuff and I think that's where we get our Belizean meat pie from when we use ground beef. So let's get right into how we make this turkey pot pie because I'm sick and tired of this Thanksgiving turkey, all right? So first thing we're gonna do... You're watching the Bear Pantry Show. So the first thing we're gonna do is make the pie dough and this pie dough doesn't use a lot of ingredients but it still uses more ingredients than my regular pie dough but I wanted to try this one for you guys today. So it's a cup and a half of all-purpose flour. To this I'm gonna add a stick of butter and the butter was cold so I grated it because that makes it easier to pinch into the flour, okay? It does use an egg. So let me go ahead and beat up my egg, but before I add it to the mix, let me go ahead and pinch the butter into the flour first. I'm not going to add any salt because my butter is salted. And then the one egg, I'm going to go ahead and get this worked in and then I'm going to add one to two ounces of water a little bit at a time as needed. See, a little bit of water. And before you know it, this dough is going to be real sticky, real nice to handle. So I get it on the countertop. And I'm just going to work this dough, get off some of the sticky, get off some of the flour off of my hand. Let me go grab some more flour from the flour bucket in the laundry room. And I've got Joe with me right now, guys. And we're going to talk about a wisdom key that I wanted to share with the peeps, Joe. So this is my wisdom key of the day. Your confidant can schedule your failure or your downfall at any time. Joe, what does that mean? It means that if you have a friend that you confide into that you tell them all your dark secret and all that stuff, mm -hmm. I mean, they could blackmail you anytime mm -hmm. and get you by a leash all the time. It's true. <laughs> it's true. You have, to be real, you have to be really careful who you confide in. And you guys notice here I'm cutting up some carrots because Joe went to the store to buy me a, a tin of peas and carrots and I guess everybody making pot pie today or something because there was none at Walmart. They only had peas. So he, I told him to bring the can of peas and I'm gonna boil the carrots, all right? So I'm starting with a lot of butter, like two tablespoons of butter. And while it melts, I'm gonna go ahead and add the stuff that needs to cook the longest, which is the onion and the carrots. Well, I'm gonna saute the onion first, all right? So just keep watching what I'm doing here. I have the camera on the back burner. <laughs> Joe, did you notice? It's on the back burner on a can of beans. <laughs> And don't try to sell me that stand for the, 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 the phone. Everybody, every time I talk about that can of beans, they hit me up and they go, we heard you talk about that can of beans for your tripod. And we have the stand that we're sending at our TikTok shop and it follows you everywhere. I'm like, no, I don't tape with my phone, boo. I tape on my camera, okay? So I'm cutting up the white turkey meat here because Joshua wants the dark turkey meat and it's quite a bit. Joe, you tired of this turkey right now, huh? Yeah, I'm not eating anymore. <laughs> Joe had the turkey two days and after that he said, Nunca mas, y acabo. I quit. <laughs> I don't like turkey. I don't know. Oh, the milk that I use is coconut milk. You can use heavy cream, all right? Anyways, Joe, let's get back into this story time about this um, confidant. Mm -hmm. So I have, okay, this old lady that I used to know would tell me if you have a secret that you're dying to tell somebody, write it on a piece of paper and then throw it in the toilet and flush it down the toilet because that's how your secret is going to be safe, which meaning trust no one. Trust no one, right? So, but I have some, a few people that I trust, but I don't tell them my deepest, darkest and, secrets. And that's the no safe because they come through the other and that's about it. Simple. I know somebody, <laughs> what if the ink doesn't disappear, right, Joe? That was my thought when she told me that. Did you see I put jalapenos in this thing right now? <laughs> and put mushroom, all kind of foolishness I'm putting in this pot pie because I want it to be thick. And I'm putting white pepper, why? Because we have it like that. <laughs> Look, sh I stole three pieces of your shrimp, Joe. Did you know? Did you know yeah. that I stole your shrimp? <laughs> Joe is cooking shrimp for his dinner today. Look, I think I put too much of the peas from the can. I should have put maybe only half a can. But it is what it is. So I've greased and floured my muffin tin. And I'm going to cut this up. I'm going to split it into half first and then try to get six of the actual bottom parts. And even though it's hanging over right now, I'm going to cut off the trim because you know what? I need it for the top. This, <laughs> this amount of pie dough that I made is just enough for six big muffins, right? six big pot pies and I'm gonna fill it to the rim with brim because I have a lot of this filling and whatever filling I have left over I'm just gonna give to the dogs because it's using coconut milk mm -hmm. so anyways um, I always get in trouble with holding people confidences I'm on the reverse end of it 
I don't blab people business, right? I don't gossip to this one about that one and that one and one. If I want to talk about somebody that's getting on my last nerve, I talk to Joe. Joe, you go blackmail me. Joe. <laughs> See, I put the lid on and I'm pressing it with the fork and I'm, I'm going to do an egg wash, but it's going to be the, just the yellow of the egg and some milk, okay? And this is gonna bake at 375 until it's done. How do you know it's done? Top on the top. If it sounds, you know, crunchy, then it's done. All right, so I get in trouble all the time by, because I don't break, oh, look at this show, look. It's gorgeous, right? You see it just now? See the pie? I get in trouble all the time because I don't break people's confidences and I have a little story I wanna tell you guys. So I had a family member, if they're watching, they're going to know who I'm talking about, but I'm not going to call any name or even tell what the family relation is because I know that my family watches from the bushes and then they just judge and condemn. Anyways, this family member came and told me a little secret. It wasn't anything negative. It was something really positive. Her daughter was engaged and she says, Shh, don't tell anybody. And I think the reason why she said that is because she wanted the daughter to have the opportunity to broadcast it. You got what I mean? So I didn't tell nobody. I didn't even tell Joe. One, because Joe's not interested. <laughs> and two, because I know I can trust me not to say nothing. Not that Joe is not trustworthy, but Joe forgets what is supposed to be a secret from what is public knowledge. Because he can't stand the way my family is, where everything's a secret. Joe, do your hand. Do your hand away. Everything's a secret. A secret. <laughs> <laughs> and the stupid stuff, folks, it's not, not that I can get you in trouble. Or, yeah, like uh, if somebody uh, went to the doctor and found out they have diabetes or high blood pressure or high cholesterol or whatever, they don't want to come back and tell nobody. Mm -hmm. I tell the whole world. <laughs> well, yeah. I'm not going to tell you their business. Uh huh. Yeah, so that type of person, that, that is so stupid. If I'm sick, I got something. It's okay. So what? We all get sick. Mm -hmm. So what's the big deal? Mm -hmm. So I didn't tell nobody. I didn't even tell my mother at the time. My mother was alive at the time. And so a couple hours later, the same person went to my mom and told her the secret. I guess by then the daughter had already blabbed it, right? All over Facebook or whatever. My mom was shocked, of course, because she didn't know because I didn't tell her. And so my mom was pissed at me. It's like, why didn't you tell me? Right? I'm like, she said, don't tell nobody. Right? Nobody means nobody. So um, I, I was really annoyed. Hello, that they put me in that position right Joe mm -hmm. why come to me and tell me your secret and say don't tell nobody and then the most vital person which was my mom that needed to know or should have known right because she was the matriarch of the family at that time then why forbid me and then and what what I missed this part what the person did was tell my mom you sure you didn't know because I told it to Barbara I missed that part of the story out guys I'm like why the hell would you do that though you told me not to tell anybody. No, you got me in trouble with my mom. That has happened to me time and time again in my family to where people assume that I know something, right? I think that happened recently with a couple of family members too. Mm -hmm. You know? Where I think one person thought that I knew something vital that was going on in her life, right? A, sh a shock and a surprise that she would have received. And honestly, I only knew the secret one overnight one overnight before the thing got revealed the next day and i really wanted to tell that person that secret because i feel like the way they were gonna shock her with the secret i didn't like it because i know i don't like surprises and i wouldn't want anybody to surprise me with some big shocking thing in front of a group of people at a party i wouldn't like that and so i wanted to tell this person but the person who confided in me forbid me to say anything and there i am with my mouth shut right and then that other person still got mad with me and they still try and eat the bus both of them <laughs> both of them got together and threw me underneath the bus the one that told me the confidence and why that one threw me under the bus is because i asked her why are you doing it like this though why don't you stop what's gonna happen come on i wouldn't like for this to happen to me and i'm like this i'm gonna do unto others as i wish that they would do unto me that bible scripture says as as you would that they would do unto you because people don't do right by nope. you nope. most nope. of the time nope. and i only know that i only knew the secret one night and i didn't sleep that night it bothered me and i wanted to tell my friends so bad you know this surprise is coming down the pike but i don't know how she would have handled it if i had told her i'm not that tight with her right i'm um i would say we're to the point of acquaintance not friends 
and you're not gonna know if I'm talking about family or friend but anyways um yeah I get in trouble I would rather you not tell me anything that has to be confidential if you know that you're gonna go back and tell somebody else and then tell them well Barbara knew well look at it stupid stuff that I don't even want to know mm-hmm I don't mm -hmm. want to hear I mean, mm -hmm. you tell me something that could help me, that could learn something. I don't want to hear stupid stuff. I, I'm too old to have a crap tour. Mm -hmm. So anytime anybody tell me anything, I just always assume that it's supposed to be a secret. And I keep it a secret. And then if I'm there pretending to be stupid, you know, like, oh, I didn't know. And the whole time I knew. And then the, the, the person telling me the thing will say, well, so-and-so told me that you knew. I'm like, oh, God, here we go again. Why? I'm just going to start blabbing everybody business. That's how I'm going to start handling it. <laughs> so you guys saw how the pot pies came out. You can put whatever you want to put in your pot pie. You can use heavy cream instead of coconut cream, but I'm lactose intolerant, so I try to put coconut cream in everything. I really like it like that, though. It's really thick and nice and warm. And mm, I have some more to go eat. I'm going to heat it up in the air fryer. I like that I put the mushrooms in it because mushrooms are so good for you. Right, Joe? Did you find that out? Mm -hmm. Mushrooms are good for you. And I learned to like mushrooms maybe seven years ago but i i still kind of like put a little and back off a little and back off because it has a texture issue and then i put the jalapeno peppers which was really really good because i didn't want to put cayenne and change the color of the thing because i wanted to stay white it didn't matter if the color changed but i wanted to stay white and the crust was pretty good but i still like my belizean crust better which is just the flour shortening butter and cold water but this crust was pretty good. So I hope you guys try it. If you do, please comment below and let me know how your stuff came out. Let me know if you like these little wisdom keys and these little stories to go with them. Because I really like telling... I, I love telling stories. I'm a storyteller, right, baby? Joe gets sick of me sometimes. <laughs> wisdom keys, they are true. It's, I mean, mm -hmm. yeah. You know, from the last video, two videos ago when I did 10 wisdom keys, the first one I said, Joe, was um, your success. Your success depends on who sees you. And that is so true. We went to a YouTube event recently. And let me tell you, there was a lot going on where people there remembered us. People of influence, head honchos at YouTube, right, Joe? Remembered me and Joe. I think they remembered Joe more than me. They remembered me and Joe. And um, it was an amazing event. And I will put that up, that video up really, really soon because I'm thinking I want to do Vlogmas this year like to put up a video every day from december 1st to december 20 20 like christmas or christmas eve and um yeah there'll be more like vlogs or stuff like that i don't know they'll have cooking i don't know but i want to do something where i put up a video a day because i have to put up a short a day so i think i want to do that and then i'll reveal the whole youtube thing and then joe will put his footage on his page too all right at hello people joe here so thank you so much for watching guys don't forget to like subscribe share and all that good stuff and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye, bye, -bye people This is the Beth Andrew Show.